Then around the age of 12, I, uh, I started looking at girls for the first time, which um, my parents described as a huge relief to both of us. I don't know <laughs> what they meant by that. A lot of people think I'm gay, is the joke. People have thought I'm gay my entire life, and I get it, because I've, uh, I've seen mirrors. <laughs> I'm not gay, however. I think if I was gay, though, I think I would nail it. <laughs> yeah, you get it, you would too. Can we get a close-up? We're not gonna get a close-up. I think I'd hit it out of the park. I think I'm actually gayer than a lot of gay guys. I'm just not into that one thing that they're super into, you know? <laughs> Brunch. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks for having fun. I think I look like a Leonardo DiCaprio jello mold. <laughs> I like, like a girl was going to a bachelorette party and she went into Spencer's Gifts and she saw a Leonardo DiCaprio jello mold and she was like, that's so random. And she bought it and she took it to the bachelorette party and the bride-to-be opened it up and everybody started laughing until one of them was like, we should make it right now. But then Angie, who planned the bachelorette party, was like, well, I had a whole schedule, but like, whatever you want to do, I guess. And so they go into the kitchen and they find the box and they mix the powder with the water and they put it in the mold and they put it in the fridge and then they just get hammered. They spend the next five hours getting totally drunk until one of them was like, oh my God, we forgot about the jello mold. And then Angie's like, oh yeah, that fucking jello mold. And then they go into the kitchen, they take it out of the fridge, they put it on the counter, it sits there, it starts jiggling, they're all laughing until one of them just says, yeah, it kind of looks like Leonardo DiCaprio, but it's definitely 100% jello. I think that's what I look like. <laughs> anyway, so I'm 12 years old, and uh, I start looking at girls, and I remember telling my friends, like, I want to tell Allison how I feel about her, but I know if I do, she's just going to take one look at me, and she's just going to say Clydesdale. And my friends were like, yeah, man, we can't argue with that. Because um, we don't know what you're saying right now. And then around the age of 15, I was, uh, I was watching the Super Bowl um, with my family. And the Super Bowl used to have Budweiser commercials that featured a particular type of horse. And I remember laying on my living room floor and hearing one of my southern sweet aunts just say, oh. Clydesdales are just gorgeous horses. <laughs> and I'm on the floor like... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and I remember thinking, Cl Clydesdale isn't something you just say to people. And this is what my brain did. My brain goes, but Clydesdale must be some kind of a sarcastic horse. And I believed that for like 15 years. Till this past Christmas when I was watching the Santa Claus and I was like, oh, I get it, I'm a moron. 